Hi there! Today I'm going to show you something awesome. We're looking now at our solar system. Everything looks very nice, very tuned, almost perfect. If we look at the conditions of Earth, this is our planet where we are now. Average temperature is about 15 degrees Celsius. The temperature on Mars is minus 51 Celsius. The sun is shining in, right in the middle of our solar system. And we see our beautiful galaxy Milky Way on the background. The place is quite tidy, orderly, and it has been working like a clock for billions of years. And for people who don't think about it too often or too much, it seems almost immutable especially for people who think that it has been created for us. I'm going to address the fine-tuning argument here, that the universe has been fine-tuned for us. I'm going to show you how this fine-tuning can be broken very, very easily, how fragile our lives are, how fragile our place in cosmos, in our universe and in our solar system is. So, if we look at our solar system a little further, you see that there, are, there is lots of stuff here. When we switched to the orbit's view, we see that it becomes quite a messy place. And let me tell you, this simulation is very, very simplified. We don't have moons around Jupiter and other planets. We don't have thousands upon thousands of comets. We don't have millions of little debris circling around our sun in a huge, huge Earth cloud. But anyway, this is a quite accurate representation of our solar system. We are seeing approximately half a month in a second. So what can possibly go wrong in our solar system? We are surrounded by stars. In this simulation we don't have any stars, but we can easily add them. Fortunately for us, the stars are very, very far apart from each other. If we were looking at our solar system and trying to see how far the closest star is, that closest star is Proxima Centauri, it would be approximately 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 this close it's approximately four light years away from us so let's say we have this proxima centauri is all the way out there it's flying minding its own business back to our solar system now watch this this is Proxima Centauri, this is our solar system, and we are going closer and closer. That's how far the closest star is from us. So it's pretty, pretty far away. But still, sometimes the stars can pass much closer to our solar system, to our sun, than the closest stars are now. So what we can do here we can show you what happens if we are going with a star which passes by very close to our solar system. And the star would be, let's say, something close to our own sun. And our sun is quite an ordinary star, let's say Proxima Centauri is smaller, this one is a little bigger than the Sun, a little more massive, it will do the job. And it's flying through the solar system. Let's watch from another angle. Yes, it's flying by with the speed of 
almost 10 kilometers per second. And now watch what's happening to the orbits of the planets, of the asteroids and other bodies. As it approaches, the planets start feeling gravitational influence. You see the orbit of Sedna, for example, is changing. The star starts capturing the rocks around it, starts disturbing other planets, and now it's a complete disaster. You see a close en encounter. The star goes minding its own business further. Maybe it captured some stuff from our sun. So that's the type of intelligent design in which we live. We're actually hanging in a vacuum, in a vast, vast sea of space. It happens that our solar system is quite stable at this moment in history, but it can change at any moment. So all the thoughts that God created this vast universe just for us to exist are naive. Those thoughts are for people who never think, who never understand how actually the universe works. So let me remind you this. The solar system is a bunch of balls and rocks flying in space in any direction. They happen to be balanced here by the gravity of the central body, here it's sun. And if another massive body flies by, everything is different. Here's our Sirius, it's coming, we'll watch the trails, and we'll increase speed of time so that we can enjoy the show in real time. Also, we'll see orbits because we want to see the, the impact, the influence on the orbits. Here it goes, our star approaching from the top and the orbits already feel the influence. Because an orbit is just the path the object follows under the influence of gravity of some other objects. And if another object approaches, the orbit changes. Now the dramatic moment. You see? Now the orbits are screwed. Sirius changed its own path a little bit because it was influenced by the sun. It's twice as massive and the orbits of our solar bodies are different. And as you can see, all the debris, the little asteroids, dwarf planets have been ejected on a massive scale. It's a havoc. Everything is different since then. That's everything I wanted to share with you today. Thanks for your attention. Peace.